we've learned the fentanyl crisis has taken the life of a Minnesota teenager. The 17-year-old died about a month ago. The sheriff confirmed today that it was opioids that killed her. Family members found her body in their home in Isanti. State agents are trying to figure out where she got the lethal dose of fentanyl. A Minnesota mom who lost her son in a similar way wants answers and action. That's why she was on Capitol Hill today as lawmakers grilled five of the world's most powerful tech CEOs. Alan Henry spoke to that mother and Senator Amy Klobuchar after the hearing. Alan? Yeah, Frank, kids across the country have died from the drugs bought on social media like Snapchat. Others have committed suicide after being blackmailed with their most private photos. Parents and lawmakers today wanted to know what are these tech companies going to do about it? Parents hissed at the five social media CEOs as they walked into the hearing. We're losing so many kids, so many amazing kids, and they're getting younger and younger by the day, and that's unacceptable. Bridget Noring joined Senator Klobuchar in D.C. to share her story. Nearly four years ago, her 19-year-old son Devin died in their Hastings home. He didn't know the pill he bought on Snapchat contained fentanyl. You know, for so long, big tech has been able to do whatever they want to do, and there's been no consequences, so they need to be how to a higher standard, a higher accountability, so parents have recourse when their children are harmed. Lawmakers grilled the CEOs today about drug purchases and sexual exploitation of teens on their platforms. Have you apologized to the victims? Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg. Would you like to do so now? And SNAP CEO Evan Spiegel. I'm so sorry that we have not been able to prevent these tragedies. Both addressed parents like Bridget directly. We work very hard to block all search terms related to drugs from our platform. But it's going to take more than an apology. There, there's no apology in the world to make up for what's been done. And, you know, you always want someone to own things and apologies are important. But we got to do so much more. They have hired so many lobbyists to stop these bills. And Bridget is just here, right? She doesn't have five lobbyists for every member of Congress. With the rise of AI, Klobuchar says the need to act is even more urgent. Just last week, fake explicit images of superstar Taylor Swift spread like wildfire on social media. I see the future. And with AI coming, um, our own democracy, these fake voice videos that we're seeing and fake pictures, we have got to get a hold on it. Well, SNAP CEO says they're supporting the Kids Online Safety Act. That's a bipartisan bill that mandates platforms to stop recommending harmful content to kids. Some groups, however, fear that bill could go too far in the opposite direction and lead to government censorship of free speech. Frank. Complicated issue. Thanks, Alan.